Jeremy is in Ohio. Hi, Jeremy. Welcome to the Dave Ramsey Show. Yeah, hello, Dave. Uh, I just got a question for you, or a little bit, or maybe you can uh, think about my situation here. I'm a laid-off coal miner of uh, 15 years, and uh, I'm wanting to start a business, and I'm wanting to do a rollover for job or for bo- uh, business startup. Have you ever heard of the Rob's uh, yes. uh, account with my, with my 401k? Yeah. And I know sounds you're like somebody's trying that. to sell you a franchise. Yeah. Well, it's not a franchise. It's just starting to start the business. And, Are they uh, trying to sell you a business in a box, though? I mean, this... No, no, no. No, this is a, a business. I want to start a, uh, a service center in my local hometown, mm-hmm. uh, which is a college town, and it should get enough business to uh, sustain itself. Okay. And uh, Like an auto service center? Yes, sir. Uh, uh, like uh, tires and brakes and oil changes okay. and uh, minor... Is there, a, is there a brand name company that's trying to sell you a dealership that's pitching you the Rob? No. Really? You just dug us up off the internet? Yes. Okay. Because 99% of the time I get this question, it's some franchise salesman trying to show you how to finance the deal that they want to sell you. And that's what I was trying to figure out. Okay. So you're starting yeah, a no. scra- you're starting something from scratch. You're going to put your name on the front of it, and uh, you're starting uh, cold, cold turkey. So how much is in your 401k? Uh, 174000 What's it going to take to start this place? Uh, the building is 120000 Why do you need to buy the building? Why don't you rent it? Um, I, I got the building that I talked the guy down from 155 to 120. So I figure if it doesn't work out, I could sell the business and make money on the 401k. Well, you'd sell the, yeah, you you need to keep the business and the real estate separate in your yeah. mind, at least in your mind. Okay. Yes. Now you, you can, you could buy the building, um, by rolling the 401k into a self-directed IRA and put the real estate in that and then buy the and then build the business using the other technique. Yeah. But you're not going to have any money. Uh well, I throughout the years I've I've saved about uh about $13,000 to live off of and uh I don't have any debt. Uh, my home is paid for, my cars are paid for. I have no credit card, I have no student loans. So the only thing I have is cell phone, electric, water. How long do you think gas. it's going to take you to get this business up and going? I'm hoping about a year. Okay. Why don't we rent this building from this guy for 2 years with an option to purchase it? Okay, he won't do that. <laughs> okay, the then get was, a different uh, building. Cuz you, okay. you you are going all in. You're doing James Bond on yeah. me. You're pushing all the chips to the middle of the table on one hand. And yeah. this is either going to work or it's not, and you're going to be broke mm-hmm. or you're going to feel like you hit the home run. And I, I don't push my chips all up to the middle of the table anymore. My life's too short. I don't, I don't want to do that. And so I want you to break this up in some way where you're not using up every dime you have on an idea that is completely unproven except between except in your, your dreams over coffee in the morning. And he mentioned this is a college town, so there will be enough traffic. And I'm watching my old college colleagues talking about not coming back or doing the whole fall online. So it just takes one weird glitch in the matrix when you're all in. Yeah. Even when it's a sure thing, the college kids will come not back. A, there's not a sure there's thing. There's no such thing yeah. as a sure thing. The, the rules yeah. in business are it takes twice as long as you think it's going to, it costs twice as much as you think it's going to, and you're not the exception. Those are the three rules. Hmm. And uh, I have to remind myself and my team of them all the time because we always get all hyped up and we can see all we see, you know, every entrepreneur is an optimist. We have six ideas in the shower every morning and we just know that we know that we know that this is all going to work out. And most of our ideas suck. Now, I don't think this is a bad idea, but I don't think what you don't. I'm positive you don't know what you don't know. Hmm. about what's going to happen here and how long this is going to take and how hard it's going to be. Please don't use up your last dime, and most of it really not on the business, most of it on the piece of real estate. So when you walk away from the shop and you come back a month later, there's a real good chance he's going to rent it to you with an option to purchase over the next three years. You get the business up and running, and then you want to roll some of that money into a self-directed IRA and buy that shop. I won't gripe about it too much. But, um, but I, I just, I, you call me, I love your dream. I want you to run a business. I want you to open the shop. I do not want you to put all your chips in the middle of the table on one hand. That's scaring the crap out of me for you. And I wouldn't do that. And I wouldn't recommend my best friend do that. Mm. 
And uh, for this moment, you're my best friend. Don't do that. Mm -hmm. So hold on. I'm going to send you a copy of the book, Entree Leadership, which is our playbook around here, how we grew our business from a card table in my living room over to the uh, over to where it is today. And so it's our playbook. Hold on. Kelly will pick up and 